Welcome to the Realm of Unpopular Opinions, and today we will be finally doing a very exciting TBR, which is for the Nostalgiathon. I didn't know this was a thing, but one of the hosts I follow regularly, so when they posted the notification about the readathon, I was like, perfection. I am on booktube anyway, let's just do it, and it sounds incredible. It's gonna make me read books that I haven't even thought about reading for like a decade, so. This is actually very excited. I can't wait. It is, I believe, in like a week. A bit more than a week, but this is the perfect time to publish the TBR. And let's get into the video. I dressed up like an idiot specifically for this video because I had terrible style when I was a child, so this is sort of fitting and it has colors. You will never, ever see me in colors anymore. So this is fitting. And the group book is Matilda by Roald Dahl, which is something that I actually want to read. I, when I participate in readathons, I usually never want to read the group book. It's always something that doesn't interest me, or a contemporary, or just something that I don't care about. So, as soon as they said this was the group book, I knew I had to participate because I loved, loved Roald Dahl books when I was a kid. Me and my entire family, we loved them. So, I knew I had to participate because for once I could actually read the group book. So, I'm very excited to reread this. It's been way too long and I've actually never read it in English because I used to only be able to read it in translation. So, this could be the perfect opportunity to finally read this as it was meant to be read. This way I look like I'm sitting in a throne. <laughs> Just saw myself in the camera. Anywho, the next prompt is childhood book with pictures. And for this, I thought it was the perfect opportunity to bring back one of my favorite books of all time that I haven't read since that first time that I read it. And it was a life changer, so I'm very excited to read it again. And that will be Jonathan Livingston Seagull by Richard Bach. I am more excited for this than you can understand because this was literally life changing for me. I was mind blown by this book when I read it and I know it won't be mind blown this time, but I think it's still going to mean a lot to me. And it does have pictures, I just want to find it throughout. So this was perfect, it's short, I can't wait to fly through it and relive one of my all time favorites. And quickly, so I don't take up too much of your time, the next one is a friend's favorite book. For that I will use 39 Clues by who that's actually by Rick Riordan that oh my I was today <laughs> today years old when I learned that this book one of my favorite series when I was a kid is by Rick Riordan I was like I've never read Rick Riordan in my life but this is his Okay, this video is just turning into an embarrassment, so this was one of my friend's favorite books when we were kids, and obviously it became my favorite when I got the first installment for my birthday. But I'm sorry, I'm just reeling. This is a Rick Riordan book. <laughs> right, so I do hope to reread this again. I loved the series. It was full of intrigue and fun facts, actually, because they were each town they traveled to had something new and I loved loved this series I was very pissed off when the translation stopped coming out so I never actually read this through I might actually order them now if I reread it and enjoy it I might order the continuation but how is this Rick Riordan book and I didn't know I'm gonna cut off this clip before this turns even more embarrassing <laughs> now that we have gotten Oh, past that. <laughs> the next one is a book with a fantasy element, and for that I had to go with this. I need to actually look up the title because I think this is a German book. <laughs> yeah, Das Buch der Schattenflüche. So, Scary City 1, that's what it would be in English. This is also a series that I've never completed because the first two parts were translated and the rest never translated. So. I was not a happy child, all my series were just not being translated. So I hope to reread this, love it as much as I remember loving it. I remember it being very adventurous and actually fun, full of 
interesting creatures and I remember really really loving the villain so I can't wait to revisit this world and I hope that I won't I remember the second book having a cliffhanger which is why we might have to order the rest of them if they were ever translated in English so this is another one that I don't have the completion to and ooh, sorry that was loud and the next one is a popular childhood book and for that I will use the Diary of a Wimpy Kid by Jeff Kinney series, which I've been rereading recently. It was very popular and it was one of my childhood favorites. So I'm not going to read the first one because I have been rereading them, but just so coincidentally, we can read this one, which was a favorite of mine for many years. I really, really loved this one. It's Cabin Fever. Also, it's one of the prettiest ones because this baby blue and the snow aesthetic is gorgeous. I loved this a lot. The rest of the books sort of started coming out and I never reread them much, but this one I reread often because I loved it so much. So I'm very, very excited to continue on with the series. It is perfect for the nostalgia thon. It is quick and it really was a favorite of mine. I mean, all of these were. Now that I look at them, I remember what a happy child I was of so many series that I loved. But I'm getting off course. So, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Now the next two, we are continuing our Roald Dahl trend. The next prompt is the book you want it to be the main character of. And for that I have two options. <laughs> I have BFG and Witches. I wanted to go into both of these so bad, <laughs> so both of them can count. It's gonna depend on what I'm in the mood for. But I don't know, I haven't read BFG in so long, maybe BFG. But I loved Witches a lot too, so I'm not sure which one we're going to read, but Matilda prompted me to read more of Roald Dahl again, so it's going to be either or one of these. I really can't decide right now, so wait for the vlog and you will find out which one I actually chose. And the last prompt is to read fan fiction, which is a bonus. Not sure if I'm going to do this because I never really read a lot of fan fiction. I read some Star Wars fan fiction for... Raylo <laughs> and for Kylo Ren but that was like five or six years ago I might reread a favorite of mine but I never really was one for fan fiction so we will see and there are also some life challenges which I'm not sure I will do but the one to watch a favorite childhood movie I can do because I've been a, on a pretty much on a binge of childhood favorites I rewatched Hannah Montana recently but I might do a Disney movie or am I I'm probably gonna do a Disney movie because that's a childhood favorite always do arts and crafts I hate doing arts and crafts because if you know what that is I went to a Waldorf school I hate arts and crafts I am not sure if I'm gonna do this one I'm gonna do my best and play your favorite childhood game I might actually play one of those you know what's it called make your own ice cream or no Papa's Pizzeria, Papa's Freezeria, I loved those games so much, I could spend hours on them. And I always hated the fact that you never got your progress saved, but... I might pr play those, or I might play Pop Tropica, though that always annoyed me. So I always just played with the tutorial and never really actually played it by myself. We'll see, but I might do Papa's Pizzeria and Freezeria. I loved that. And there's also the Netflix watch party for the Babysitter's Club, if I'm not mistaken. Not sure if I'm going to do that. I haven't even researched what that is, but I might, because this seems like the coziest readathon and the best idea that I've seen in, like, a long time. So I'm very excited for this, and I might just get involved. I actually joined the Discord, so... I don't know. I might participate in everything because I'm very excited for this and congrats on whoever came up with this. But that is pretty much it for the TBR and I hope you will watch the vlog. I hope we will talk, all of us, in the Discord and I do urge you to join this readathon because it's very cozy and I don't know, I'm just very happy that I'm going to be participating. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.